So this question looks like a translate word problem question. I say that given just the fact that this is a word problem. It's longer than four lines long. Um, so the strategy here is that we want to read one sentence at a time, making sure to write down any quantitative information that we can from each sentence. So the first sentence here says in triangle ABC, the measure of angle A is 23 degrees and the measure of angle B is 97 degrees. So let me just try to make that triangle, right, where this is A, this is B, and this is C. This is 23, this is 97. And I can do the math here that says if A is 23 and B is 97, and all three angles have to add up to 180, uh, 97 plus 23 is 120, therefore angle C must be 60. The next sentence says in triangle DEF, the measure of angle D is 23 and the measure of angle E is 97. So it looks, sounds like basically another triangle with the exact same measurements, right? So this is D, which is 23, and E, which is 97, and therefore F must be 60. Which of the following additional pieces of information is needed to determine whether triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF? Well, in order to determine if two triangles are similar, all you actually need to know is that all of the corresponding angles are congruent. And we already know that, right? We already know that. So there really shouldn't be any more information required. It is true that once all the angles are congruent, your side lengths will either be the same, in, in which case they'd be congruent triangles, not similar triangles, um, or proportional. But the proportionality of the side lengths is a function of the fact that all the angles are congruent. So having all the corresponding angles congruent is truly the only thing that you need to have in order to have similar triangles. So choice A says the measure of angle C, right? Like that doesn't determine it. If you know, we could figure that out, you wouldn't have to tell me what angle C's measurement is. Uh, choice B, the measure of angle F doesn't do it. Choice C, the measure of angle C and the measure of angle F, that doesn't do it. Choice D, no additional information is needed. Absolutely right. There's nothing else required, right? Knowing two angles will always give me the third, so you don't have to, like, tell me, you don't have to tell me the third angle, right? It, which is why both A, B, or all of these are gone. Right? This is the reason why A, B, and C are all gone, because we can, we can figure out that 60 degrees for ourselves. So choice D is the best answer here.